Hey everybody, what is up? Yes, it is still <laughs> the <sixth>. November 6th, <laughs> 2017. This will be our third, third video, video of the day, but things have been popping. And I'm Devin Lavore, just in case it's your first video. This is my wife. Michelle Lavore. And we're coming, coming at, at you. <laughs> so... <laughs> It has been interesting because, you know, like lately, what has it been like since November 2nd or 3rd? We've been we've been experiencing like this acceleration, yeah. you know, almost after our daughter who prophesied the word. I only got I got a word from the Lord, but I only got one word, an actual word. Accelerate. And we about passed out. Yeah. Because we were like, whoa. We're like that is from God. Yeah. Because we really have been, and I sensed that same day, I was like, I almost feel like we're going to be living like two days in one day. Yeah. God's going to double up the days. Mm -hmm. I mean, like a whole day's worth of activity will be in a half a day. Yeah. And then the next day, because oh. we, we had, um, we made a video kind of about like what our yeah. first part of the day was. And then around three o'clock. Yeah. Things changed. There was a very clear change. Yeah, shift in the spirit, mm -hmm. and it was like, whoa, this is this is different. Yeah, pretty it much was... actually after we had finished our last yep. video. Yep. And we were like, it was very clear to both of us. It was like night and day difference. Mm -hmm. It was like, wow, okay, I guess we're in a new day. Yeah. What are you saying today, today Lord? Even though it's, even though it's the same day. Same day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so. And so, uh, what was it? So basically for the last three days, it's been kind of a silence, marching around Jericho mm -hmm. type of thing. And then I really felt like this morning was like a shout day. It was like, yeah. this is that seventh day, yeah. you know, cause three times two is six. So this next morning would be the seventh day, Yeah. you know? <clears throat> and maybe, and honestly, maybe this morning was like our, you know, seven times around Jericho. Yeah. And then tonight was like the blowing of the shofar and, eh, mm -hmm. da, 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 you know, yeah. victory and all that. Because, you know, we really try not to share the details of our financial situation with you guys. But it's hard to do this video without it. Yeah. Without saying some things. And I, I'm still going to be pretty vague, but we got some pretty... Pretty much just the most distressing news you could possibly get. Yeah. You know, when it comes to finances and things like that. I mean, I know that's yeah. really vague and it doesn't really help anybody see. Yeah. <laughs> I say the most distressing news you can get financially, there's probably like 15 different things, things that going could on pop up. There. And the truth uh, is, it's just like God really has not given us the, the peace or anything to share with everybody right and i i really do feel at some point we will ultimately share what was yeah. going on and everything Afterwards, but it's you know? gonna be after um because it's like god's got us into this so yeah. he's gonna walk us through it mm -hmm. and if there's troubles he's gonna lead us out of it yeah you know and so it, it's like it's like tell them about what you said about like how everything in our life seems to be coming on us all at once yeah and it was it was very much like I felt like it was like okay here we go everything's all coming up but it's it really was like the kings. I mean they're talked, giants. Yeah, we talked kings, about like yes. those you know when um, Joshua they had the kings were in the cave and they were bringing them out. That's from Joshua. It's Joshua ten. Ten. And um. Seventeen through twenty-five. Yeah, seven feet. Yeah, twenty-five. You got it. And, and, but it was like the the standing on the necks of the kings. And mm -hmm. it really felt like today God was like, here are all of these kings in your life. And you guys are going to stand on the necks of these people. And it was like, Devin well, had the asked. Yeah, well, but, the half a day had yeah. gone by. And I was like, I don't really feel like we've done that yet. Yeah. Like, And so I asked the Lord. I was like, well, Lord, exactly how do you stand yeah. on the neck of a financial lack and yeah. poverty and not being able to break yeah. through and how do you stand on the neck of that yeah and so you know? when we um received all this news then it was like i really felt like wow you know how we stand on the next is by the the song um by philip craig phillips craig and dean was in my head and it was like 
the worshipers arise. Oh, let the worshipers arise. Let the worshipers yeah. arise. Let the sons and the daughters sing. And that was the part that was going in my head. And mm -hmm. we realized that is how you stand. Well, the Lord told me yeah. right there in the kitchen, because we were both in the kitchen fixing dinner yeah. or something like that. And the Lord was like, that's how you do it right yeah. there. You praise. Yeah. When you, you praise, arise. you arise. Yeah. And it's like the Psalm or the, why do I always refer to Isaiah as Psalms? I do not know. <laughs> know. It is a constant, consistent <laughs> mess up. But anyway, in Isaiah chapter 60, it says, arise. The Lord's yes. telling the people to arise. So that's something they have to do. Mm -hmm. It's not something God can do for you. Yes, God can do anything and everything. and He does, But there's things that he asks you to do, like humble yourself. Yeah. You arise. Put on the garments of praise. Mm -hmm. Put on, Clothe yourself with Christ. There's a lot of things yeah. that we have to do. And of course, God then does all the godness through yeah. us as we do that. But I just felt like the Lord was like, that's how you do it. You, yeah. you got to praise. You got to arise. Mm -hmm. You know, don't let the, the, don't let this horrible, horrible news like that's coming in like twos and threes. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, just like this bad thing, this bad thing, and this bad things coming at us. And I mean, bad things. Yeah. I mean, they're big, nasty, they're king size. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you go to a restaurant, like, give me some king size fries. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. Right? It's not like this little think thing. And it's like, and it's like, we enter the battle mm -hmm. of like, oh, but it yeah. really isn't. Yeah. It really it, wasn't. I mean, yeah, there was a fight there, there a little bit. There was definitely like. But it's just like. Yeah. This is way too big for us to do anything yeah. about. And it's and it was like, like in the moment it was just like well we can choose to just go the downward spiral and not be able to do anything, yeah. or we can choose to believe in God who can do everything, and and still not be able to do anything. and still personally not be able to do anything about it. <laughs> it's like you can worry about it, nothing will change, or you can praise the Lord and nothing will change in the in the. Uh, in that department, or at least nothing will seem to change. Yeah. But truth, the truth is, things do change yeah. when you start to worry about it. Things do change when you start to praise. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what this video is about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but before we go on, it, when we did feel like that major, sh like a shift today, um, and uh, Devin had gone to the store, and while he was gone, I was just like, well, Lord, where are we? Because I feel like... We're in a different place than, than where we were. And I, I really felt that God had said, like, we've entered into the kingdom. The courtyard. The, 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 court, the court area. The and and it was just kind of... Because this morning we talked about crossing the bridge, crossing yeah. the moat, mm -hmm. and then we, we entered in. Yeah, so it's like you entered in. And if you think of, like, you know, the classic kind of kingdom... With the Celtic music yeah. in the background... <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> but you cross the cross the bridge and so you enter in and what do you start seeing? You start seeing a lot of life. You see people bustling around and doing this and doing that. And so it was like that's kind of what I felt. Like we we walked in and in a lot of ways it kind of was that. We're like, all right, we gotta do some laundry, we gotta go this yeah, Like right away. We were like, Okay, let's get back to life. Yeah. Let's go We never do that. Never. We always just like, Okay, Lord, what are you saying? We get right back into yeah. the word and prayer, and but we're like, well, we got to do this. We got to do yeah. laundry, a huge pile of laundry right over here. We're looking at it, it's yeah. Mount Vesuvius laundry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, like we had just all the stuff that we had yeah. to do. Was, and then, but then it's like which fit with, with where that, we where you felt like we were at yeah, even at that moment spiritually, yeah. And um, and so and then of course we had all this stuff come yeah. against us and. I was just like, man, and it really was starting to bother me personally. And I was just, you know, it's like, all right, I'm just going to stay strong. And and um, and so then we started having our God time tonight. And it was just, it was kind of a difficult night, really, as far as the kids. The kids. Yeah. And just, you could just tell it was almost like, man. They were super tired. Yeah. They, they were. really were. The time changes <laughs> jacked them up. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, seriously, what is it, like 8.37 right yeah. now? So it's really 9.37 yeah. for them. So, you know? yeah, we're still adjusting. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but we're just going in. We were actually reading Psalm 16, and God just really spoke through that because we've been reading the Psalms with the kids, and Annalise was reading, and um, 
for me, what really s stuck out was like at the very end of Psalm 16, verse 11, it was like, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. <laughs> Extending that right hand. But in, in her Bible, it said basically like you will always lead um, my lead my life down the path that leads you will always lead me down the path to life there we go and it was just it really hit me of like wow when god is leading it always always leads to life baby <laughs> <laughs> had to bring him up because he was getting a little antsy He's a people person. He just likes to hang out. <laughs> so, during our uh, God time, it was very difficult, as we have already said. And um, But I just really felt like the Lord was like, press through, press through, press mm -hmm. through. And so I kept just, we just kept going. And I get to the point sometime, um, and I may be the only parent that does this, but I'm just like, I'm done. <laughs> Everyone go to bed. Yeah. I know it's a failure as a parent, but, you know, I'll get there. I'm still working out the kinks. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I was just done. And the Lord was like, no, 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 no. Let's, because we had already prayed. We had already gone through our Bible time. And, mm -hmm. man, it, was just, it, was, it wasn't like the worst, but it was tough. Yeah. And, and the Lord was like, no, 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 don't give up now. Like, just let's do a praise. And that, mm -hmm. that will change things. You know, praise can change things. And I was like, okay, I'll just do it. It was like like Peter, like Lord, we've been toiling all night, but at your word, I'll, I'll do yeah. it. And I did. It was just it was one of those at your word. I was like, I'll just do it. Mm -hmm. And so we put on uh, David Crowder, Oh Praise Him, and they had never heard it before, and um, and we'd been looking for something new anyway. Yeah. And so we put that song on. Oh, and oh my gosh. Yeah, things Ooh, just changed. The Lord just dropped like crazy. And it was it was just such an amazing difference. Yeah. You could feel the manifest presence of God. Yeah. Could you, I mean, I could. Yeah. It was intense. I mean, it was just, it was like, yes. You know, and it, it, and it confirmed for me like yeah. a vision that I had during our prayer time. Mm -hmm. And oh, that yeah. vision was, it was a vision of Jesus. He was, he was traveling down this yellow brick road. He was, he was traveling down this golden road. And on each side of the road, there were just, it was lined with people from the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And they were just going, yeah, wow, oh, yeah. And it was Jesus. He was in the, um, he was riding on a horse. He's always riding on a horse in my visions. He was riding on a, a horse and he just looked so regal and so like, yeah, I did it kind of, you know, <laughs> thing. But behind him were these gangly looking scrawny, like Lord of the Rings, Gollum type looking, looking uh, guys. And they were really skinny and dirty. They all they had on was like a like a little loincloth thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they were they were chained up, and he was like they were like being uh kind of led behind him. So we had to put, put the, baby, the baby away. Yeah, put the baby down. So mm -hmm. anyway, <laughs> the joys of editing. Anyway, so I was talking about the vision I had during prayer, and it was really difficult to share this vision because. The storm of stuff just, going yeah. on was just crazy. I think it yeah. was, you know, kid stuff, but there was some spiritual stuff yeah, there too. It really was. And part of me was like, is this really you, Lord? But I just felt like the Lord was like, share it, mm -hmm. share it. And so he shared this vision with me. And, and as he's sharing this vision with me, I'm trying to figure out, are you outside the kingdom? Or are you inside the kingdom? Because I thought we were inside the kingdom. Michelle said earlier today we were inside the kingdom. So which way? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to figure it out. And it's like, you really can't do that when you're getting a vision. You yeah. just have to see the vision and say the vision. Yeah. What it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever it is. And so there was a bunch of us lined up. We were praising the Lord. And then Jesus was uh, leading this uh, group of... Uh, uh, of captives, right? Of, of, of and I thought of the kings. I thought of the five kings, mm -hmm. and there was definitely like four or five of them there, mm -hmm. and he was the only one. And they were all like attached by these, uh, like kind of like handcuffs, like mm -hmm. old school, like medieval yeah. <laughs> shackles. You yeah. know, they were not unshackled. <laughs> anyway, 
awesome. I love that show. <laughs> anyway, and so he was just the only one. And they were, it's like, I don't know where the chain was attached, but it was like they were all leading to him. Mm-hmm. And they were attached to him in some way. But he didn't have his hands on either of the chains. He was just leading yeah. them. And they were just kind of following behind him like, oh. You know what yeah. I mean? And it let, and it reminded me of this scripture, <clears throat> which is from Ephesians 4, 8. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it says, therefore, it is, it is said... When he ascended on high, he led captivity captive. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Captivity captive. Yeah. He led a train of vanquished foes and he bestowed gifts on men. Mm-hmm. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. He, he's taken captivity itself and captivated it and, yeah. and thrown it in prison. And I just felt like the Lord said, that's what, that was what has happened yeah. You know, that's that's what's happening right now. And that's why he didn't want me to just send all the kids to bed because I was kind of giving it into the struggle. And he's like, no, just praise. Let's finish it. Let's mm-hmm. do all mm-hmm. of God time. You know, get in your position yeah. and do what you do as a priest and all that stuff. Yeah. And just do it. And sure enough, we put on Oh, Praise Him by David Crowder. Yeah. And it was like, wow. Boom. And I feel like it was almost like now that is what's happened. Yeah. The vision I showed you during prayer time. That's what's happening, you know? Yeah, well, and it was interesting, too, because as he was, <laughs> I'm telling you, it was just, it's bad, because like, as you were even sharing this this vision, I was really sitting there the whole time <laughs> going... Uh-oh, confession time. Yeah, I know, it is confession time. <laughs> I was sitting there the whole time going, well, Lord, where are we? Where Where are we in all of this? And why aren't we at the banquet doors? Like, I really want to get to the banquet doors. Why is it taking so long? And... <laughs> And but that, I think that's how the atmosphere was it affecting really you. Was, yeah. That's what it was, you know. And, and so then, but then when we started worshiping, I just, there was just this moment. It just like snapped to me where, because I was seeing, I was seeing Jesus like on his horse, and it was like this parade. And I mean, we, it was lined like the streets were lined with people, and I knew mm-hmm. all of those. He people, was coming back. Yeah. To the kingdom. Yeah, it was, I was like, like well, he was we've going been with up. you this whole time. And in my it's dream, like, like we were, we were actually inside, like on the streets, but there was like this main road, you know, in your that's vision. In my in vision. vision. Okay, yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. I don't. Know. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> and and I just knew it was that's where we were. We were those people cheering the Lord, and mm-hmm. and I mean, it, we really were like as we were p- singing the song, like we had moments where we were literally like clapping our hands and shouting, and I was like, yes, like I could just see it, like Jesus going by, and we are just yelling and shouting for him because he was victorious, yeah. Yeah. and it was just. It was really awesome. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like after we finished and everything, I was just like, wow, Lord, like, you know, I repent for my (laughs) attitude (laughs) because this is not what it's about. You know, I really was, I think, just discouraged from the first, that that vision of, okay, we got in. Because for me, again, it was like, I want to be, like, I want to be at the end. But you want the desire fulfilled. Yeah, I want the desire fulfilled. You want the longing satisfied. But That's it's really like, what it's about. Right? Yeah. yeah. But really, this process that God has taken us through—it's so much better than that. It's so much more than that, and it's just realizing, like, wow, Lord, you really do deserve all the praise and all the glory because you are taking captive our enemies, our foes. You're taking all of this upon yourself. So that we can be free to praise you. But then on top of it, you're throwing us a feast. Yeah. And giving us presents. And it's just like, what in the world? (laughs) And he bestowed gifts on men. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just like, I don't know, it was just really awesome. But just Mm -hmm. in that, that song, I mean, we... It was just like, wow, God really is here. And I could just see it so clearly. And we really were. It was like it we were. It changed the entire atmosphere it was like of we our were kids, our whole family, everything. Standing like in the streets, literally shouting. It reminded me of like the Hosanna, mm-hmm. you know, like here's Jesus coming in. But of course, in this vision, he's already, he's riding on the horse. Mm-hmm. He's been victorious. And like, it was just like, whoa. Yeah. It was so cool. Well, and it was such an awesome night. I mean, even to this even to this very moment, you know, it's just been a really amazing night. 
Now, you have to understand something, guys. This is in the midst of getting two pieces of information today, after 3 o'clock, by the way, mm -hmm. two pieces of information that were just bad. Yeah. Like, really, really bad. Like, God, you're going to have to move. Yes. Like, literally, you're going to have to move. And it's like, now, normally, when we get information that's bad, we... In the past, we've made videos or we've sent out requests or we've tried to call people or something like that. And all of those times have been just like, okay, well, it's nothing wrong with asking. But it's like, but lately, especially like the last month or so, we just haven't said much. Mm -hmm. and, and we've just been just like, you know what, Lord? You got us into this. You're our employer. You're our king. You're yeah. our rewarder. You are fill in the blank with everything good. Yeah. And it's like, it didn't bother us. I mean, it did. There was a little bit of a shaking there. Yeah. But normally, this is the kind of stuff that, that would, would just send, us, send you into a yeah. massive spiral of like, oh my God, uh, the Titanic yeah, and you're, and sinking. You're, and you're scrambling. Yeah. Everyone for themselves. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it really it's is. like, we were totally fine. And we had to praise the Lord. We had to yes. praise the Lord because it was like, wow, look at what you have done. Yeah. All these times we've been wanting you to fulfill the vision and fulfill the desire. But look at what everything you've done through this whole gestation process, mm -hmm. through the all even the re most recent birthing process has all been just like preparing us yeah. line upon line, mm -hmm. layer upon layer, yes. precept upon precept mm -hmm. to be able to handle even stuff like that has hit us today. Yeah. I mean, the biggest giants came at us today and it was just like, bink. You know, it's just yeah. like, that's, that's all you and got. And honestly, you know? at, at the one point. <laughs> Not it, that I'm challenging, no, but I'm just no. saying like, it. it's like, okay, I, it, this didn't hit me as yeah. hard. It's because yeah, of what, what we've, we've gone through, through already. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's why you see, because it's like yeah. this, there's more to come, you know, there's more hard hits and tough things and to, to, to deal with that because you, that you can't throw money at. Yeah. You can't throw money at, at every situation and think it's going to solve the problem. But for some situations, that is exactly the problem and that is exactly the breakthrough you need. Yeah. And so I just thought it was like, wow, it's a, like, it's like a double praise to God Yeah. because it's like, we were praising him not because we wanted something to move or something no. to happen. We were just praising him because he's worthy, but yeah. because we praise him, he moves. He, yes. he just descended on us and was just like, yeah. Ooh, I'm going to love you guys and hug you guys i kind of feel like that's what the presence mm -hmm. of god showing up tonight was and it was just really good and then so what was it later i think we were we were looking up other songs after we put the kids to bed yeah and um and we we put them to bed early because they needed to, they go, to needed bed, to man. go to bed man we put yeah. them to bed about 15 minutes early 10 uh -huh. minutes early right yeah yeah we put them to bed 10 minutes early and right away we came and was like what's that other david crowder song and it was like here is our king mm -hmm. we like worship to that and we could still feel yeah. the presence of the lord mm -hmm. on it and it was like yeah this is amazing and then we listened to this other song now listen we were while we were listening to this one song i noticed a video because we hadn't had any numbers in a while. I mean, yeah. we don't no normally notice numbers during God time because you're not yeah, you're not, you're not going here and there attention and, to it or anything. You know, so I saw this one video off to the side and the time on it was 3:33. 3 minutes and 33 seconds and I was like, "Whoa." I mean, it just ca it caught me. I mean, because you can see, yeah. like we've already said in a lot of our numbers videos, you can see numbers but the Holy Spirit's not going, "Hey, look hey, at that." Look at that. Yeah. No. We off to the side, there was that video that was uh three minutes and 33 seconds. And I knew I was like, that was the Lord. I was like, the Lord was really speaking yeah. fr from that. And I was like, whoa. And so I turned right away and I'm look, the video that we're watching was from a person whose subscriber count was 888. Yeah. And I was like, and I we about really, we haven't out. seen a triple eight. Or Hardly really, at all. We saw them that one day, yeah. a couple of them. But then I was like, wow, I was flipping out. I was like, whoa. I mean, this all happened in with like 10 seconds yeah. of each other. And then I got up to go get something from the kitchen because I was like flipping. I was like, this is crazy. And it was 7.59. Mm -hmm. And I knew right then. I was like, wow. I was like, the Lord, I felt like the Lord was saying the fullness 
and the, the fullness and the resurrection power on this new beginning has begun. Yeah. It's like it is full. It is complete. And what are the things that the three mean? It's the fullness <laughs> and the divine, fullness. Per, divine perfection of God. But it also means resurrection. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And I just really felt like the Lord was saying that in, in a reference to the vision he gave me during prayer time that yeah. it is full it is complete the thing that has held you captive mm -hmm. the thing that has bound you oh lord jesus is 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 i've got it mm -hmm. he's like i have got it and it's like it's so crazy because it's like all of this stuff you have to receive by faith yes <laughs> you have to know that this has happened in the other world the other world that affects our world all the time every day yeah. mm -hmm. and it's like this is what you've done this is what's happened our unity me and you me and me over here and you here on earth you have accomplished this through you i have accomplished this mm -hmm. you know your praise you know, my power, together, partner, we have conquered this thing. We have taken captive, captivity, yes. the thing that has held you captive, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like the the new beginning is complete. And it remind, and he reminded me of that whole fullness of time thing that we mm -hmm. saw with the, what was it? And the, that was yesterday the with 933. the 933. And actually it went from 933 all the way to 933. It did. And so it was just it was like. It was 933, 1233, 333, 633, 633 and, and 933, 933 was the last one we saw. Mm -hmm. And it was like, all right, that's why we had to shout today. And then the captivity was taken tonight. Mm -hmm. It was like fullness complete. So, wow! <laughs> I'm just super excited tomorrow because tomorrow is the 18th. Yeah. And 18 means bondage mm -hmm. or a release from bondage. If you talk about the reverse of it, yeah. the positive aspect of mm -hmm. it, it's releasing Yeah, from like bondage. the woman who had um, been crippled over and for 18, for 18 years. years and Jesus came to her, extended his hand and... Oh, really, no, actually he said, woman, come here. Yeah, and He and, called her. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, we're getting ready to be called. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yep, called, <laughs> called to the banquet. So called I just, into the banquet. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we knew, we, we still know in the spirit, like, I mean, if we get any closer, we're going to be tasting turkey. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? From the banquet table. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's like... We it's keep getting so close soon. and close. It's like the end game and yeah. and we can hear the thunder. And I mean, all these visions that God's sharing with us, it's like, ooh, you're really close. It's like, and we keep getting closer and closer with each day. So yeah. I'm just like, wow, I can't wait for tomorrow to see. Yeah, like what, to see and what's literally going tomorrow on. is 11-7 mm -hmm. for us. You know, I don't know when this video will actually be uploaded and released, but it's like tomorrow will be 11-7, but it'll also be 8 18 mm -hmm. so it's like all these all this stuff is like matching up and it's just been a really yeah. great day I don't, it's so I mean it's just so funny to me because we're praising the Lord in the midst of receiving really bad news yeah just one just the one piece of news <laughs> would probably send you to a place of des, des, depression and despair yeah. but we got two pieces and it was just like Wow, Lord, you're amazing. Mm -hmm. And you were praising the Lord that the one piece of news came at the at night. It was like, what time was it? Like, it was she like she showed a, up a little like 6.30 six or something. Or something and and I'm like, who are you? What are you doing? And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. And we were like, oh, well. Yeah. Like, and you it were praising like, the Lord. Like, I know. I was like, <laughs> well, that just means that we're just that much closer. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, praise the Lord. I I, thanks for bringing that news to us tonight and, so and, we can be free of it. For tomorrow and you know? it really was i mean it that's what happened it was i i think symbolically and just like in the spirit it was like all right all of this stuff is together and like here it's bound and changed now and you and know it was interesting because i was asking the lord i was like there was a part of me that was like lord i'm really really trying not to freak out and because of what you've done it's really actually easy not to but there's a part of me that's like okay um yeah. Say something to me. Yeah. You know, I mean, what what are, what are we going to do? You know, it's it's not like it's not like life shattering or earth shattering or one of our kids is dying or something like that. That would be really bad news, you know, or something like that. But it's still like and from a financial perspective, it's really bad news. And, and I was like, Lord, I need your help. And I was going to the store and I was like, oh, Lord, um, I, we kind of need your help. I was kind of in halfway freak out mode mm -hmm. from the one piece of news. <laughs> And then uh, we got a worse piece of news later, but the Lord was, I felt like the Lord was like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? And yeah, it's like, don't go back. Don't go backwards to freaking out and anxiety and fear. And 
it's like look at where you're at man you're don't give up that place to go back to that place yeah and then when i came back and we got that other piece of news i was just like lord you guys tell me something maybe and i was just like and i felt like the lord asked me he was like do you want me to say do you want me to help you save this life that you have yeah. And I was like, oh, no, no, like, no, thank you. Just, just let, let it die. It die. <laughs> let it let die. It die. <laughs> Go ahead. I release it. I release it to your hands <laughs> because I don't want to hold on to something. And then you not be able to do what you need to do in my life. Mm-hmm. I'm going to release it. And then you're going to give me something better. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, because there's a promise of restoration over our lives from things that we've lost from being here. Mm-hmm. And it's just like God's getting ready to do that. I'm just like, I'm just going to let it go. Yeah. And it's like, this could be the moment. You could be in the moment of a miracle right now with all these crazy things going on yeah. around you and things falling apart around you and things just being th- threatening you. You know, yeah. it's like, that could be the moment of the miracle, you know, like with yeah. the lady with the, who she was, a, she was a wife of the son of the prophet and her, but her husband died. So in that culture, it was like, oh my gosh, I, I got nothing. I got yeah. no way to make money. I got nothing. What am I going to do? And these creditors are coming to take my two sons mm-hmm. as slaves. It's like, man of God, help me. What do I do? And he was like, oh, I got a miracle for you. Yeah. See? And it's like, so it's like, whatever your situation is, God has a miracle for you. Yeah. You know? And it's like that thing that, uh, that um, maybe you're trying to save maybe doesn't need to be saved. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe just let it go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But anyway, I mean, I could keep going and going because, man, my heart is so full of joy and just yeah. love and just amazement for the Lord that just mm-hmm. what he's done today for us. Yeah. And it's just like, with, in fact, without those two pieces of news, I don't think it would have reflected the level of fruit and work that God's done in our yeah. lives. You know? It's like that hardship can can like... It can make you or break you. And it didn't just make us, it caused us to praise. Yeah. You know? But it's just, God is doing so much right now. And, yeah. And, uh, it's been amazing. Yeah, and that's why, I think, I, I don't know if I said that, but like in that vision that he gave me earlier about us being inside the, the gates, it was like, I just was like, okay, Lord, is this another really long... Well, yeah, like how long are we going to be, in, gonna the, be in, in the, the gate? Is the it courts? like, are we going to walk down this yeah. street and then go down that street and, and stop go at a house? At and then cafe. we're going to, and it was like, I just <laughs> felt in the spirit, he was like, you know, it, it's going to accelerate. It's like a rapid. You're approaching rapidly. You're, yeah, you're approaching rapidly. And it was specifically to the door, you Ooh, know. Jesus. And. And that was just, that really stuck out to me, you know, approaching rapidly. And in my mind, it was, it was, we weren't running, but it was like, you know, when you're on one of those, um, are they called people movers? People movers. At and you're airport? walking at the same yeah. time. It looks how, like you're running. Yeah. But, like a, <laughs> <laughs> but it was just kind of like that. And, and I still feel like that is what's going on. Like we are rapidly approaching mm-hmm. this moment where we're going to be before the doors and they really are going to be blown open and we're going mm-hmm. to be placed at at the table that God has for us. Which is the fulfillment of our desires, yes. the longing, satisfied, and glory to God. Yes. Given. Yes. <laughs> so this is the official goodbye and we'll see you guys later. Be blessed, guys. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>